Headaches. We've all had them. Some are mild annoyances, others knock you flat. But here's the real question. Why do they happen? From dehydration to brain chemistry to some shocking hidden triggers, the science of headaches is more fascinating and scarier than you think. Stay tuned, because what you learn today might just change the way you deal with pain forever. What is a headache? First things first, a headache isn't your brain hurting. Your brain has no pain receptors. What you actually feel is pain coming from blood vessels, nerves, and tissues around your brain, especially in the meninges, scalp, and neck. When these areas send distress signals, your brain interprets it as pain, and voila, a headache. Key fact, there are over 150 different types of headaches, but they generally fall into two main categories. One, primary headaches. Headaches themselves are the main problem. Two, secondary headaches caused by something else like dehydration, injury, or illness. The most common headaches are tension headaches. Imagine a tight band squeezing your head. Stress, poor posture, staring at screens, or even clenching your jaw can trigger them. These are usually mild to moderate, but persistent. Two, migraines. Migraines are way more than just bad headaches. They're a full neurological storm. Symptoms can include throbbing pain, nausea, sensitivity to light and sound, and even visual auras, flashing lights or zigzag lines before the pain hits. Causes, genetics, abnormal brain activity, and changes in neurotransmitters like serotonin. Migraines affect over 1 billion people worldwide. 3. Cluster headaches. The rarest but most brutal. Often described as suicide headaches because the pain is so intense. They come in cycles, often striking at night, centered around one eye. Triggers are less understood, but involve the hypothalamus and disrupted body clocks. Okay, now let's dig into what actually sparks these headaches. Dehydration. Even mild dehydration shrinks brain tissue slightly, tugging on pain-sensitive areas. Caffeine, a double-edged sword, small amounts can relieve pain, but too much or sudden withdrawal triggers headaches. Lack of sleep. Sleep regulates neurotransmitters like serotonin. When you're short on rest, the balance goes haywire. Diet, processed foods, nitrates, like in hot dogs, Artificial sweeteners and alcohol are common culprits. Hormones. Estrogen fluctuations explain why many women experience menstrual migraines. Screen time and posture. Constant phone use strains neck muscles, feeding tension headaches. Stress and anxiety. Stress chemicals like cortisol affect blood flow and nerve sensitivity. Shocking fact, some headaches can even be triggered by the weather. Changes in barometric pressure affect blood vessel expansion. Most headaches are harmless, but some can be red flags for serious conditions. Sudden, severe headache, often called a thunderclap headache, could signal a brain bleed. Headaches with fever, stiff neck, or confusion, possible meningitis. New headaches after age 50 could signal vascular issues. Headaches after head injury, risk of internal bleeding. Now let's talk about how to manage and prevent headaches. First, stay hydrated. Aim for two to three liters of water daily. Fix your posture, especially at screens. Regular sleep schedule, your brain thrives on consistency. Limit triggers, keep a headache diary to track foods, stress, and sleep. Relaxation techniques, meditation, deep breathing, exercise, all reduce tension. Over-the-counter meds, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, help, but overuse can cause rebound headaches. So, headaches aren't just random pains. They're signals, clues from your body about what's going on inside. From tension headaches to brutal migraines to rare but dangerous warning signs, understanding the causes can help you fight back, and maybe even prevent them. Now I want to hear from you. What's the worst headache you've ever had? Was it stress, dehydration, or maybe a mystery migraine? Drop your story in the comments. I'll be reading them.